In this video, I'm going to share with you step by step what are the best gear and tools so that you can host your very own talk show online and it's not going to break the bank. So come on back. How's it going, this nation? It's so good to see you. Thank you for joining me in this video. I'm going to go through all of the best budget friendly, inexpensive gear so you can put on the best online talk show possible and you're not going to break the bank and i'm going to go through everything step by step i've been live streaming creating content i've hosted four or five podcasts for the last five plus years i've been creating content for over 15 20 years i've been in this game for a very very long time and believe you me i have spent exorbitant amounts of money on camera gear, audio gear, lighting gear, platforms, softwares, the whole gambit. And I've probably wasted, I don't even want to think about how much money I've wasted. A ton of money. I mean, a lot of money on unnecessary tools and gear. So make sure you stick around to the end. I'm going to talk step by step. I'm going to do screen shares. You're going to love this video. And plus, before we get going, I just want to let you know everything, all the tools, all the products, everything I'm going to be talking about in this video, I'm going to leave links in the description down below conveniently so you can just go check them out. Okay, without further ado, let's jump right into it. In my experience, the most important factor when it comes to creating content, creating a talk show, hosting a talk show, a podcast, a video podcast, or anything, a live stream show, I've done them all. The most important thing, there's there's really nothing that speaks to poor quality and poor production more than having piss poor audio. It's just it just makes or breaks. I mean, I'll talk about cameras after this, but um, you know, I think the the biggest thing you need to focus on if you're going to create it and host a talk show online, what really gives you that level of professionalism and we all want to engage our audience. We all want to make sure that people get the most value from our content, stick around, enjoy everything that we have to bring to them. There's nothing that not only gets people to bounce off faster, but also it really doesn't bode well for just your overall kind of production quality, uh, professionalism. And, you know, I know you watching this and listening to this right now, you want to make your show the best it can possibly be without breaking the bank. Well, I've got some amazing options for you. And the reason I'm starting with audio is I think audio is the most important gear that you should really invest in first. Just to give you kind of example of what I'm talking about, here's a clip of me without my fantastic microphone that you see right here, which by the way, this is an expensive mic. I'm not going to actually be talking about this mic. I'll leave links in the description down below, but this is kind of an expensive mic. I'm going to give you some you know, everything that I promised in the thumbnail and the title, I'm going to give you the best inexpensive, high quality products and gear. So just stick around. So here's an example of, of what it sounds like when you have poor quality. It is that time again, y'all. I hope you're ready for another episode. Of you see how that sounded? Well, check this out. Look at the difference. Here is when I realized, you know, I plugged my USB mic in, which this is a USB mic. Listen to the difference. I muted my mic. <laughs> this is where you get to ask me anything you want about how to advance your career, how to grow your business. It's Nez Nation Live, y'all. So make sure you come on back. See how much more, you know, crisper and how much more just everything about that just sounds better. It draws you in your, your amplification, the crispness, the creaminess of your voice is much more powerful and resonates more with the audience. It just sounds better. And so this is why audio is so super important. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to jump into the screen share. I'm going to show you some example. Okay, we're here on my idea list and my Amazon storefront. Again, these are all products that I completely vouch for. We're going to be talking about audio first. And as the thumbnail suggested here, I'm just going to click on. So this is uh, this was in the thumbnail. This was the more expensive mic that I had a big, large red X in it. And I didn't have a big, large red X there because this is not an amazing mic, which is an absolutely phenomenal mic. Sure, SM7B cardoid uh, dynamic microphone. You may see uh, people like Joe Rogan use this microphone and other uh, professional uh, talk show hosts, podcasters, and live streamers and content creators. Uh, it's, an, it's an amazing mic. But the problem is it costs $400. And I know that's a very, very expensive mic 
for a lot of you. So I have an amazing alternative. And that is the other mic that I have. The, the other mic that I have on my on the thumbnail of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and click on it. This USB streaming podcast PC microphone. OK, uh, it's an amazing and I and, and I have some Mac alternatives, too. But this one is an amazing microphone where you can get amazing quality, amazing professionalism. And instead of paying four hundred dollars, check this out. It's only $54.94. And I mean, this is an amazing, amazing, uh, you know, microphone. You can see right here, I'm just kind of uh, pressing on the zoom now. Uh, it's, it's a fantastic microphone. It sounds very crisp. It sounds very, very good. It makes you sound very professional. It's a USB, which means it's plug and play. And so it's just a fantastic microphone. And I would highly, highly recommend this as an alternative. Going back to the idea list, you'll see that I've got some other uh, alternatives as well. Like I think the Blue Yeti microphones are really fantastic. This one right here in the middle, let me just click on that real fast is only $122, uh, and it's a fantastic mic. Again, this is another USB plug-and-play, and this is actually good for streaming on Mac and PC. So you can see right there, uh, this is a terrific, uh, a terrific microphone. And again, I'm going to leave this link in the description down below, but I just wanted to show you because I know there's so many of us that actually think that it is impossible to produce an amazing show or podcast or live stream or video without you know breaking the bank. And I'm just here to tell you that's just not true. I had to put my glasses back on because I'm old. And so it's just not true. There's so many other amazing options. You don't have to be technically inclined. You don't have to be super wizard at electronics. Literally, when I say USB, it's just plug in to the microphone. You plug into your computer. It's super, super easy, and you're ready to go. And so um, that's a fantastic option that I wanted to share when it comes to audio. Now, Let's talk about cameras. The number one complaint that people usually have when they want to start a podcast or start creating videos, a video podcast, a live stream, a talk show, etc., is that they don't have enough money for a decent camera. Well, let me tell you something. First of all, what you have in your back pocket may really suffice. If you have a modern smartphone, this is an iPhone 11 Pro Max, and I can shoot with 4K 60 frames per second. And not to get too technical, that's an amazing image. Um, you have an amazing camera. If you want to go more and beyond and get a little more crisper and get like the bokeh effect, which is the blur effect, and add some more dynamics to your video, I have options for you. But I just want to say before I even go to the screen share, you have everything you need in your back pocket. And plus, this also goes for you virtual meeting guys. A lot of people live stream with just a simple webcam. They're not even using DSLR or really fancy expensive cameras, Sony A7S III. Nobody's, nobody's using, not everyone is using these really, really expensive cameras for uh, hosting a talk show, live streaming, doing a podcast. And you don't, I don't think you have to either. And there's a lot of inexpensive options. But again, I just want to caveat and say what you have in your back pocket is enough. But here are some very budget friendly options. Let's go to the screen share. Okay, back to the idea list here on my, and if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say idea list, uh, this is just something that you can set up. I have a video if you want to join the Amazon Influencer Program. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Uh, you can create these lists of products that you vouch for and that you can share with others. Okay, so you see those first three cameras, and you can kind of see the prices there. Um, I'm going to start with the least expensive one, okay? And these are, again, most of these are plug and play, and so is the Sony ZV-1. I'm going to click on it. It's the Logitech C920, okay? And I'll tell you which ones I use for live streaming too. And so you can see that this uh, product, which is Logitech, which is a brand that I really trust, and I've you know, been using their webcams for ages. You can use these for Zoom meetings. You can use these for live streams. And if you get 1080p, really, that's about as crisp and powerful a quality as you want, really, when you host a... Um, 
video podcast. I mean, that's enough is what my point is. You don't really need higher than that, especially if you're doing a live stream podcast like myself. Um, and so uh, this is a really inexpensive, you know, for 90 bucks, almost 100 bucks, you can get a really, really powerful webcam that will help you with your talk show hosting capacities. Now, if I go back to the idealist, I'll, t I'll show you exactly which one I use. So the one that I use is the Logitech Brio for my live stream podcast. This one's a little bit more expensive, but you can get a crisper quality. And honestly, I'm just going to be honest with you, even though I use this for my live stream podcast and all my talk shows, I don't really see that it's that much better or really, I mean, the, than the, than the Logitech C920. I, I haven't, to be honest with you, been really that happy with it. Yes, you can shoot in 4K. You can stream in 4K. I don't see the point in streaming in 4K. It just doesn't really make much sense for, um, you know, when you're just doing a talking head talk show or anything like that. It's not like we're doing anything too cinematic. 1080p and then oftentimes sometimes 720p really are um, suffice and it's it's not that much uh, to uh, worry about so this is um, this is a 4k uh, webcam and so uh, that's the one that I use it is a little bit more expensive at a hundred and eighty six dollars so almost two hundred dollars almost a hundred percent more expensive than the one previous to it and if you really want to up your game which I don't really uh think you need to but if you've got the funds you know i think this camera right here the sony v1 which is a camera that i use for a lot of content creation a lot of sometimes i'll use this for live streaming as well you know the dslr cameras that you're going to go for the sony a7 6 and all that or i'm sorry a7 III and uh, the Canon uh, 80Ds and things like that. Those are $3,000, $5,000 cameras. This one, you get amazing quality, amazing um, autofocus, probably the best autofocus camera in the game. And it's uh, only 750 bucks. And so um, for cameras, I know some of you might be thinking, man, that's pretty high. But for cameras, for content creation, trust me, that is unbelievably budget friendly super super inexpensive for the amount of quality that's jam-packed it's a very small camera too very compact you can carry it in pretty much any camera bag or anything at all and again you see that amazon choice label right there the sony zv1 is absolutely phenomenal a little bit more expensive again i think the webcams and what you have in your pocket will suffice but here is another option you guys asked for this video you said nez what kind of gear do you recommend this is the the gear that I recommend. So again, links to everything will be in the description down below. Okay, so we talked about audio, we talked about video. I'll leave links to really inexpensive lighting too that can help you as well. And I'll even leave links to, I, I don't want this to be a super long video, but I wanted to save what I think is the best, most asked question that I get all the time, which is Nez, what software do you use? to host your podcast, host your talk show, host your live stream podcast show. What do you use? Let me tell you something. I've been doing this for a very, very long time. I'm an early adopter of Facebook Live, Periscope, YouTube Live, LinkedIn Live. I've been live streaming for more than most people that I know, uh, especially on social media and so especially online. And so um, I have a lot to say about this because I've used pretty much every platform. Some have come and gone. Some have been uh, discontinued. I've used every platform you can imagine from OBS, Switcher Studio, Restream, uh, you know, Streamlabs, you know, I've used pretty much every one. And the one that I use personally, and the one that I think is the best, most easy, friendly, and convenient tool, software, browser-based, is StreamYard. I just think StreamYard it takes the cake. I think you can create such professional-looking live streams, podcast you don't have to go live even though it's Streamyard, and i use it to go live on all different uh, uh you know platforms you can multi-stream and multicast you can actually also use it just to record do pre-recorded video podcast do pre-recorded uh talk shows where you don't have to even stream anywhere and so 
it is just an absolutely, I'm telling you right now, there's no other platform that you need to use other than StreamYard. I'll leave a link in the description down below to a free trial that you can get if you click on my link that I will provide for you. Again, full disclosure, if you do end up getting a payment plan or a pro plan, et cetera, I do get a small commission from that, but that really is a win-win because you get the best platform on planet Earth and you know I get to uh, get support for creating more videos like this. This stuff is expensive. It ain't cheap, y'all. So uh, that's the platform that I would uh, uh, suggest. You've got the easy functionality. You've got easy overlays. You can put bring people up comments if you do a live stream you can do comments and bring them up on screen with the greatest of ease you can actually long form video you can cut into you can do screen share you can do pretty much everything without being a tech person and here's the kicker it's browser based and for you who are untechy or don't know anything about tech you don't have to download anything you don't have to worry about having enough data you don't have to worry about updates anything like that or installing configuring any of that junk you just have to go sign up on the actual website and you're all set once you sign up you're all set again i'll leave that link in the description down below i have also a ton of other videos on live streaming tips talk show tips how to host a talk show what are the best strategies practices mistakes that i've made that you should avoid so you can host the best talk show on planet earth and who knows maybe i'll be a guest on your show feel free to reach out to me I hope you got a ton of value from this video. It means absolutely everything to me that you've stuck around this far. Again, links in the description down below. Consider subscribing because guess what? I'm bringing you brain-busting content week in and week out. Plus, I've got my live stream show, Office Hours, that I do every week. So hit the bell notification, follow, subscribe, hit that like button so you get notified when we go live. And you can ask me anything. You can ask me questions. You can ask me, how do I do this or that? Anything, I can go deeper with you. I love having community relations and building relationships with my audience. We have an amazing Nez Nation family here on the channel. And so I want you, you are cordially invited to be a big part of that so thank you thank you so much make sure you go check out these videos right here subscribe down there i've got a new shorts channel subscribe to that up there and i'll see you in the next video go check these out <laughs>